Yes, hello, sir. How are you? Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening to you. How are you, How are you today? I'm fine. Thank you. Thank you. Very good day. First, first day when I I'm out of quarantine. And it turned out to be a very good day. I know a couple of secrets. There was a friendly match, and you're very happy that Kerala Blasters have won the game today. So you have an even bigger smile on your face. Exactly, exactly. It's always it's good good thing to start with the win, you know. So, so yeah. it's really really pleasure and and big big yeah. thank you for for guys. They did a great job today and 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 start start season in good way. So so thank you for for all players and stuff. You know, Carlos, I'm going to be asking you in detail about the Indian players and you know the ones that took to the pitch and how your pre-season is going. But first, you know, I'm introducing the whole concept of a sporting director because Kerala Blasters is one of the most famous clubs in India and even around the world. Actually, they've reached the finals twice, but unfortunately, they've failed to replicate that kind of success over the last three seasons. They've failed to, you know, make it to the playoffs, and that is why there's a rebuilding from the ground level that's happened. You being the first cog in that wheel as a sporting director. So, for my sake and for all the fans, could you tell us what role do you exactly perform as a sporting director? So it's very really wide role. It's actually my job, you know, is to to control and to create the sporting side of the club. So it's it's include the the staff, include the 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 player side, uh, and include not only first team, include al- also the structure of the of the youth teams. Of mm-hmm. course, in current yeah. circumstances. We have pretty much difficult situation to to organize anything in youth sector now, but it's also a big and important part of the job. So so I mean, I am I am my my, my job to be responsible for for final result and and this is this is the the truth. Yeah, and it's a massive responsibility. You know, this is one of this this club has one of the biggest fan followings in the country or in any country actually this club has broken records around the world just for the sheer volume and decibel level so it's a massive responsibility what made you accept this challenge and what made you come to kerala oh when this discussion starts i mean i i, I did the research about the club uh, and i meet the people so i mean it it was easy decision when i know when i know everything about the club So yeah. So also my my previous environment you know I spent there 5 years and it was pretty pretty nice time really, really nice time there. Mm. So so but same time I need that I need that some kind of challenge new challenge so and same time honestly telling I was feeling that I'm ready for new challenge. So so I mean this responsibility I I I don't don't fear this <laughs> this responsibility it's, it's it's pleasure it absolutely is and it's a pleasure for everybody from manya pada this big fan group that you're addressing right now and all the supporters of kerala blasters to see that you've taken this responsibility because already a lot of positive signs are visible and the season hasn't even started but kerala is one of the first decisions you and the ownership had to take was who you're bringing in as the head coach And you brought someone who has experience and who has recently won accolades in India. You brought Kibu Vichuna. What was the mentality yeah. behind bringing him? So I mean, of all of decisions which was done, this decision I am most sure about. Uh, <laughs> so, so I mean, this is I know this coach from he worked in Lithuania also. I know feedback from close people. I know feedback from his previous clubs in Poland, and he's already experienced in India. He knows he knows this market. He knows this uh, mentality of people. He he already adopted there. So so I mean, it's it's yeah. very. I'm very happy. We we finally reached the agreement, and 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 he he joined the club, and now we working together. You know, I spoke to Kibu earlier during the off-season time. We did one of the interviews with him as well, and he sounded so positive. Especially, you know, this is from a fan's perspective. When important players of the club leave, the fans are going to get stressed. The fans are going to wonder what is going to happen to our team. And Kibu was so good at telling everybody. 
the most important player is the team so once you got kibu to come in what then was the immediate concerns that you had to address in the team what was the most important thing that you had to address so the most important thing that time was virus covid covid-19 was most important thing and and crucial point in, in many many of decisions because you know people people clubs and other all, all organizations all around the world they, they didn't know what will happen what's going to happen and and so on we would, we didn't know when season will happen when pre season will happen nothing i mean yeah. and and also i i will not go to details but these players who leave the club it's for sure not everybody leave for for sporting reasons you know it was it was also also just circumstances that that this does happen you know so so this rebuilding it's it's naturally happen it it wasn't forced the rebuilding you know so so but you know we are positive people we are professional so we try to to create as good as possible team and yeah. and now looking to start the season so when you came in this season and now you're looking at it that you want to replicate the success kerala blasters is one team you have to see in the playoffs just for the sake of the fans you want to win a trophy this is such a huge club so what is going to be different this season um first thing what we supposed to do we we don't need to speak about trophy <laughs> we we need we need to let other people to speak about us this mm-hmm. is really important thing and this is i'm telling for players that not not we are the one who who start to talk and and rise ourselves somewhere we need to work hard every day and and, and go step by step okay so, i like so that line that you said you this, said this is, we don't have to talk about ourselves we have to see that people talk about us i like that yes, line okay exactly. so so what is going to be different I mean many things are different first of all different team different staff and now now it's very important time when when we need we need became the team now we have 30 25 personalities and we need we need to to make the team and and, and I trust I trust in Kibo qualities in this case mm-hmm. and he he's a speaker's coach you know he this this is very important job because now when we stage one stage we we passed we we collect the players which we trust uh but now se- second stage is coming and and you know in sport it's you it's never final stage i mean <laughs> after one thing another coming and you you need you need to prepare <laughs> for the thing so i mean this is very natural but that's what makes sports so exciting it's unpredictability you never know what's going to happen you can plan all you want but things can change Which yes is exactly what exactly what is making it so exciting but you said that you know you wanted people to talk about the team you told your team don't talk about yourself what was the criteria this time then in selecting these personnel not just the players even the coaching staff the tactical analyst a fitness coach you brought in someone for mental conditioning to build that what what when what was the thought process behind bringing those people what so, was the criteria actually actually yeah first criteria is professionalism we need professionals uh we need ambitious people and i i think we managed to find them and actually actually the staff kibo bring his coaches his assistants from from yeah, previous yeah. club and only only david from spain join us and and he he is also able able to help about about mental things So also I'm very happy I'm very happy about goalkeeper coach Yusuf he's he's from India hmm. and, and these Indian people so people also assistant coaches fuck uh Rafik from academy and and massive job did this uh our analytic Indian analytic Aravind I mean yeah. he helps so much and, and this is it's it's also professional level I mean it, <laughs> it's he yeah. he's 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 a professional so really yeah. happy to be to be surrounded up with such a person and now now we need with patience do our job day by day don't don't speak loudly but but work hard and and 
see what happens. You know, it's it's positive way. We will see how it's going. Yeah. Let your work do the talking. Is what you're saying. We don't have to be loud. Let the game be loud for us. That's true. Important, isn't it? Everybody, especially now, Sorry, the yeah, times are so different. Sorry, I lose you. I didn't hear last question. I'm saying you were just saying that the team behind the team is also very important this time. The staff that's working behind the team, but circumstances are very different this year, and there are a lot of challenges. And I have to address the biggest one, according to me, as a presenter, as an anchor. Every time I have come to Kochi, I have been blown away by that crowd. This is the crowd, bunch of people that we are talking to right now. Incredible. Yes. When I am with my I can't hear myself talking. They are that loud, and that is yes. the one thing we are going to miss the most this season. Yes. So, from your analysis, how much of a difference is this going to make, especially to Kerala Blasters? I know that everybody telling the same that fans are very important and yeah. so on, but so, but I I don't know how to how to tell that it's hundred percent true. That this is really like like additional push emotions and emotions are are serious gun in sport, you know, yeah. because you have yeah. short period to to prove who is better and you have ninety minutes and even emotionally you can you can do some things better than you can even. Yeah. So 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 it's really very important. I just don't want to repeat same same after same, but but I mean if. If fans are stop stop hearing this, they all the time so must must know that that it that it's huge. I mean, I mean, this is I I very not not happy that we will not have supporters, but I know it's situation all around the world. It's impossible now, but mm. I can tell that this season we 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 must play eleven against eleven, not twelve against eleven. So oh. let's <laughs> we don't have this advantage. But you knew about Manya Pada, and you knew about Kerala Blasters fan following even before you arrived over here. You had heard about them. They're pretty famous. Yeah, of course, of course, of course, of course. Yeah, and yeah, we will we will miss them. But I promise you this: they are one of the most loyal fans in the country, and they've supported the team through thick and thin. And this season, they're going to be doing the exact same. They may not be physically present, but they're always going to support their team. So we were talking yeah. about some of the changes because of you know the pandemic. Because of the situation, and apart from fans not being there, even your pre-season has been affected, hasn't it? So, what is different this time around? How have you all planned around the pre-season? So, pre-season, I mean, it's not ideal for sure, but we trying to make it as good as possible. Uh, our Indian players are working some time already in the trainings on the pitch. Uh, some foreigners, all foreigners, still in quarantine. Uh, Three of them still traveling to India, so I mean it's far away from from good conditions. I mean good. Con I'm not blaming nothing, nobody, <laughs> but, no. but just but just just circumstances, just situation all around the world. Yeah. So it's not not ideal, but in current circumstances, I think we we doing all all management, all all club people doing maximum effort and maximum possible job to make it yeah. as good as possible. So, but of course, there are there are some risks about this. You know, injuries risk. It it can. I mean, it's not normal to to train on, on only three weeks or something like that. Yes. Normally, yes. minimum six weeks preparation. So Absolutely. there are some risks about about this. And but you know, our situation is same like other clubs. So so we need to deal with that and 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 move on. So no no time to no time to to discuss this. Absolutely, I understand, Kerala. Since you brought this upon, you just brought up this topic right now about injuries and pre-season being very short. I have a ton of questions. I've literally I've written them all down with the names of the fans. So I'm going to be throwing these questions at you. But at any point, if you choose not to answer any of the questions, that's completely your prerogative. I give you that full freedom. But I'm only a messenger between the fans and you, so I'm going to be asking you those questions. And one of the questions that came up so often on my Instagram account, on my Twitter, everybody was just messaging me with the same thing. That every season, 
we have said that we have injury and fitness issues because of our pre-season but this year that is going to be even worse we barely have two weeks of pre-season as an entire team which is the indians and the foreigners together yes. like you said that's a challenge not only for kerala but for every club yes so how have you and kibu and your entire coaching staff and everyone planned on what how are you all planning on doing that because the first few matches are going to be extremely difficult then yes uh you know i think coaches not getting this knowledge then they working to get pro license you know how to prepare team in few weeks because normally you preparing team 6 or 8 weeks so it's yes. clearly not not standard situation and and i mean it's difficult situation and you 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 need you need measure the loads how how much you can give for the players uh how much you cannot how, how much is too much i mean it's it's difficult job and big big challenge for coach for coaching staff in this case yeah. and and even for players to be to be smart to to communicate clearly what they feel and how they feel and you know so we need very good communication listen to each other and just understand that this is not typical situation and we need to deal with this so and we don't know how 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 it will go nobody knows yeah and and yeah. Other, other very bad thing you know you know you can have short preparation but but you cannot have pause without football seven months like for example our indian players here they they play last march in in february or march and now yeah. it's we have a football. So I mean this is not not life of professional football player and so so this is also rising the 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 risk of the injuries Absolutely. not only preparation yeah so we need to understand this and deal with that as well so so I mean I really hope next season we can we can do to to give as much as possible football throughout the year for 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 Indian players especially because yes. also you know they they getting pra- practice they getting improvement they they getting experience this is very important and getting fitness consistent fitness so it's not the same if you stay in the room and, and do some exercises so mm. true, true. So that the best and i mean it's absolutely right it's difficult station to handle but we try as as good as possible 